शुक्ला ब्रह्म विचार सार परमात्म जगद व्यापिनीणा पुस्तकधारिणी मुभयदाम जाट्यांधकारापहा हस्ते स्फाटिक मलिका विदधती पद्मासने संस्थिता वंदे तां परमीश्वरी भगवती वित्ति प्रदा शारदा नवा सरस्वती देवी शुद्धा गुण्यां कौम्यहम पाणीय प्रवेशा रघु सिद्धांत कौधी अच्छी प्रकरण लुक्ट एट सम सूत्र एंड इन लघु प्रक्रिया वी सीन दट वेन एवर अ सूत्र इज नीडेड लघु कारा इंट्रोड्यूस इज दैट इन एनी प्रकरण सो इवन इन संधि प्रकरण ही मे इंट्रोड्यूस सम सूत्र विच इज नीडेड फॉर इन दैट कॉन्टेक्स्ट इन दैट कॉन्टेक्स्ट बिफोर ही एक्सप्लेन द संधि इफ समथिंग कम्स इन लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल उपसर्ग उपसर्ग हैज नो प्लेस इन संधि प्रकरण रियली एज इन डेफिनेशन वॉट इज उपसर्ग उपसर्ग क्रिया योग वेन देर इज क्रिया योग Something gets the sanya upasarga or the pradi. Pradi ya uh, get the sanya of upasarga ha when they have kriya yoga. This is a sanya sutra, but it is needed because he is going to show an achandi between upasarga and another dhatu or a kriya pada. So for that reason, he needs upasarga, and where upasarga is to be placed, all this need to be needs to be known before you do the sandhi. So it takes the opportunity and introduces upasarga there. Then dhatu is also needed because only when you have know what is a dhatu, then you can have a kriya pada, where he will use this sandhi of pra and ruchyati, for example. So ruch dhatu you should know, and then ruchyati declension of the verb, but pra is an upasarga which is added te prag dhatu ho. This is added before a dhatu, and so on. We saw this, and then we saw. Inga padanta, uh, no, not not inga padanta, ingi pararupam. So ingi pararupam, we saw it is an apavada. Ingi when ing pratyahara letter follows, follows what? Follows at, follows an avarnanta shabda, which is that that is an upasarga. So when ing follows a an avarnanta upasarga, then That engadi dhatu. Eng follows means what? Engadi dhatu follows that the sandhi which is expected there is vruddhi because uh, vruddhi sandhi sutra has gone by and that is iti prapte vruddhi prapte sati. When vruddhi is prapta, when pra is overlanta and age age dhatu age ate form is engadi. Although it is inga adi, still a is there, which is a vruddhi letter. So uh, vruddhi a chi. When a follows, that time vruddhi is prescribed earlier. There is a vidhi that vruddhi should take place, but this gives an apuada. Engi pararupa. So pararupa. Pararupa is a itself. Eng. It's an eng letter, and eng letter is replaced for what? Eka puro parayu. Puro parayu. Eka ha pararupam adesha bhavdi. So pararupa adesha. Pararupam is given, so Pararupam is the Adesha. <coughs> And example we saw as uh, Pra Ajate will become Pra Ajate, not Pra Ajate. Otherwise, Vridhi will have would have given Pra Ajate. Pra Ajate is not a Sadhu form. Pra Ajate is form. Similarly, Upa Oshati, Upa plus Oshati, you don't get Upa Oshati, but you get Upa Oshati. Pararupa O is the single Adesha for Akara and Okara both. Next sutra is a sanya sutra, which is needed to explain another sandhi. Sutra is so sutra is achon tyadi t. Achon tyadi t. T is the sanya. For what? T is a sanya for antya adi. Antyadi acha acha antya. So it's a samasa. Achontyadi is samasa. Achontyadi t. Prathama ekvachana and this is also prathama ekvachana. T is the sanya given. T sanya syat. We look at what what is the vritti kara sing. What is the uh, vyakhyana kara sing. Lagu lagu kara sing. 
अचा मध्य यो अंत्य अचा मध्य यंत्य अंत्य वॉट इज दंत्य अचा मध्य अंत्य विल बी अच ओनली सो अमोंग ऑल दी वॉवेल्स विच एवर इज दी लास्ट वॉवेल इन वॉट इन अ ग्रुप ऑफ लेटर्स ग्रुप ऑफ लेटर्स पुट टूगेदर विल हैव सम वॉवेल्स सो वर्ड विल हैव अ सेट ऑफ वॉवेल्स वन और मोर वेन एवर देर आर अ सेट ऑफ वॉवेल्स अमोंग दैट विच एवर इज दी अंत्य अच अंत्य लास्ट वॉवेल सह दैट लास्ट वॉवेल सह आदि यूह अक्षर समूह से इन द ग्रुप ऑफ लेटर्स if there are multiple vowels if uh, there is a single vowel also assuming that there are group of letters which has one or more vowels whichever is the last vowel starting with that that vowel should be the beginning of the uh, uh, the last group of letters that samuha starting with that last vowel till the end of the word will get the sanya what t सो अचा मध्य यंत्य यंत्य अच यंत्य अच सह अच आदि यक्षर समूह से सह अक्षर समूह स अक्षर समूह तट सो दैट इज स तत् टिट संज्ञ सट इज थ्रू संधि संधि इट इज तत् तत् टी संज्ञ सो टी संज्ञ इज तट दिस तकार विल टेक मूर्धन्य आदेश एंड विल बिकम तट So what was the sanya t? T is the sanya for the akshara samuha in any word which begins with the last vowel. If if the word ends with a vowel, then the last vowel will be the last letter itself. So the, the t will be only the last vowel. But if it ends with a hal, then hal or group of hal, then conjunct consonant also then whichever precedes that conjunct or the last hal starting with that last vowel whichever vowel precedes that entire set starting with the last vowel will get the t sanya then there is a vartika here there is a vartika which says so this is the vartika we'll come to the vartika mm -hmm. Okay, we'll look at the Vartika a little later. Let's look at uh, examples. He's not given any example. Let's look at an example. Say, Manas Shabda. So Manas Shabda is there. Okay, let me look at uh, uh, some examples. Which is given. Any Shabda can be taken, but <coughs> sorry. First, let's look at this. Achaha. So, achaha. I didn't do uh, padachcheda. Achaha. Hmm, achontya. So, achaha. Acha madhye yo antya. So, this is a single uh, padach. No, not padachcheda. The samasa vigra. So, what is this? Acha madhye. Acha madhye. Uh, the samasa says. Sorry. <coughs> so, acha. Acha madhye. यो अंत्य इज ऑलरेडी गिवन दैट सह आदि सह आदि दिस अचा मध्य यंत्य सह आदि सो दिस अंत्यादि इज अ बहुरी सामसा अंत्यादि इज अ बहुरी सामसा एंड वॉट इज वॉट इज अंत्य अंत्य इज अ तद्दिता अंत भव अंत्य सो अंत भव अंत्य दट इज तद्दित विग्रह दे अंत्य अंत्य का अंत्य अच अंत्य अचा मध्य अंत्य अच दिस अच इज वॉट अचा मध्य अचा मध्य दिस अंत्य अच अचा मध्य यंत्य अच अंत्य अच आदि आदि यॉट यू कैन से अक्षर समूह से अक्षर समूह से और शब्द रूप से शब्द वॉट इज इज द फॉर्म ऑफ द शब्द शब्द रूप से सह सह और तत्ट संज्ञ सो इस तत् 
ईसन्यम सो दिस समास आउट यू आर सच सह शब्द स्वरूप और अक्षर समूह इज व्हाट अंत्यादि अंत्यादि इज समास देयर बहुरी समास सो एग्जांपल गिवन इज से मनस इफ यू टेक मनस शब्द एंड what is the t in this manas shabda it will be the last vowel which is manas is equal to what man man and a so you see makara so i'll write man together and separate out the last vowel and as man and as if you can separate out these akshara samuha then what is this this is the antya ach akara this akara is antya ach saha adi yasya akshara samuhasya So, akshara samuha is the shabda is manas but akshara samuha group of letters starting with the last word antyaj this is the akshara samuha and this will be getting the sanya as what as t so as is the t in in manas shabda i have not seen the kashika example let me see kashika example what it is to get the variety otherwise it's a simple sutra there is nothing more to it achuntyadi t so agni chit he says okay agni chit so we look at agni chit in ag agni chit agni chit is the word in this what is the agni 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 this chit what will be the last uh, uh, vowel it is this chakar agni ch and it if you can separate that out then this it is the t here similarly this is important in this tiptas ji siptas tha mipvas mas and then ta atam j ta atam j thas atam dham id vahi mahi in that ta atam j ta atam j so first first line are what parasmi padam pratya siptas ji siptas tha mipvas mas then uh, last line are second set of nine are atmane padam pratya ta atam j thas atam dham id vahi mahi so sorry <laughs> if you uh, let me show the sutra patha uh, see this sutra 3478 so tiptas ji siptas tha mip vas mas ta atam jha tha sa atam dham sorry tha sa atam dham id vahi mahi in this the last uh must see this ta atam jha these these are nine pratyas which are atmane padam pratyas and you see another sutra which is what tita atmane padanam tere tere tehe tehe ehe tehe e adesha bhuti so whichever i tita in the tit lakara for tit lakara atmane pad pratyas shashti bahu vachana atmane padana they will take what all is atmane padas ta atam jha tha sa atam dham id vahi mahi these will take what their t pratyas the t of these pratyas will take a adesha so it ta atam jha sorry tha sa atam dham atham dham sorry dham and it it vahi mahin these are the pratyas in this if you look at what is the t for each of them if you start looking at what is the t for each of them kalyan ji what are you doing with man and t t is not an adesha it is a sanya sutra t is a name given there is no adesha t man plus t there is no man plus t man and us where did i write man plus t us is us gets the sanya t it gets the sanya t it's a name given it's like a handle it's a name there is no uh, t is not a pratyaya it is not an adesha 
So Sanya Sutra. See, Adesha, uh, Adesha Sutras are, are not seen. The Adesha Sutras in this section will be only Sandhi. It is, there is no Adesha here. Achontyadi T. And for Adesha to take place, you have to have a Shashti. Is there a Shashti here? Achontyadi. There is no Shashti. It is not an Adesha. This is in 1 1. This is in 1 1. It is a Sanya Sutra. Okay? No Shashti. That is Sanya Sutra. It's mentioned that it is Sanya Sutra. It is T Sanyam Syat. So follow what is written here. It is T Sanyam T Sanyam Syat. So T Sanya. There is no Adesha. So in Manas, Mana, Man and Us. I am just separating it out to show that uh, this is the last vowel. Starting with the last vowel. Manas. See if I put a space here then they will look like two separate words. They are not two separate words. I am putting a dash to make separate out this vowel, that's all. It's not separated out in a word. Agni in it is also Agni Chit is Agnich and it. The last vowel is separated out to show the Shabda, uh, Shabda Rupa, Shabda Rupa as in Akshara Samuva starting with the last vowel. Because coming to other examples, Ta Atam Jha, Thas Atam Dham, Idvahi Mahing, these are the nine Pratyas and what does the sutra say? See, uh, the interest is not the sutra. I am showing you what is the per application area of T. What is the, what is called the Sanya Pradesha. T is a Sanya. What is the Sanya Pradesha? Sanya Pradesha means the area in Sutra Patha where that Sanya is used. If somebody is given a name, let's say you are called, called uh, parents call the son as Kalya or something. So you have been named as Kalya. If you are named as Kalya, what is the purpose of that name to address you? It has, there has to be use. When you are called out, uh, you will be called out as Kalyan. If it is addressed in a sentence, it will be said that Kalyan did this or did not do this or whatever. He is this kind of a person. He is... Uh, so, uh, relations are talked about. That name is useful somewhere. Where all is it useful? So, similarly here also, when a Sanya is given, you should ask, what is the Sanya Pradesha? Sanya Pradesha is wherever T is used, some examples are given. I am giving you one example where it is used. For example, this Tehe A. Tehe. Tere is what? Tehe A. There is a Sandhi here. Tehe is Shashti Ekvachana. Of what? Of T. Like Harehe. Of Hari Shabda. Similarly of T. How will T decline in Shashti Ekvachana? Tehe. So Tehe A Adesha Bhoti. This is an Adesha Sutra. For what? For a Titlakara's Atmane Pada Pratyas. Titlakara means what? Lat. Uh, see, you have, you have a titlakara or a nitlakara. Uh, Panini Muni used use only two letters as it in the end. Lat, lit, lut. So, every, uh, all of these end with takara. And takara is it there. So, it is tit. These are called as titlakaras. What are nitlakaras? Lung, lung, ling. All these are nitlakaras. So, you have titlakaras and nitlakaras. For titlakaras, like lat, Ityadi, Atmane Pada now, there Atmane Pada Pratyas, take with what? Atmane Pada Pratyas T, whichever is the T, that takes A Adesha. Therefore, now you look at the, what is the T in the so questions? What is the T in the Atam Jha? Individually, tell me which are the T's in these Pratyas. Removing the it letters. Takara is it here. Nyakara is it here. So, which is the T in the Oh, for Atam, Aam. For Jha, Jha will be replaced by Anta. So, you can say Anta. Anta. In Anta, what is the um, T? So for these individually, if you look at it, respectively, it will be Takara and Akara. This will be the T. Then for Atam, for Atam, Atam, I'll separate out the T. Jha is replaced by Anta. So I'll say Ant plus A, Ant and A. Ja is equal to, so I'll say, bracket, I'll put it in brackets. Ant is replaced by Ant. Then, Thas. 
thus the t will be then at am dwakara and am it e itself is is the t takara is it wahi <coughs> wah and e mahing nyakara is it so ma and e so all these are are what t in each of these akara is t here am is t here o is t here last starting with last vowel whatever is there as am am and so on now there are some uh, some of these uh, pratyas like thas are directly replaced by another suta thas se so it this will be there will be si adesh otherwise tita atmane padanam tere intitlakara this t each of these t in atmane pad pratyas will be replaced by what a so t plus a will become t plus a you will get t here what will you get atam you will get ate am will be replaced by a this entire thing will be replaced by a so t instead of saying replace a by a am by a a by a as by a am by a am e e and e by a instead of that he calls all of these which are underlined as t he does not have to call he has already made a sanya earlier wherever he just said te he a for atmane pada pratyas te will be re, uh, t will be replaced by a by saying just te re he is saying replace a by a so te will become te in atmane padam so therefore you get labhate labhate then you will get at this atam instead of atam you will get ate in tetlakara ate ante then this thas se so here you will we'll get se instead of uh, thas se sorry instead of the you will get um, you will get thas se there is another sutra so this entire thing may be replaced by se but generally if you don't know the rule by tere what will you get this as will be replaced by a if we didn't if there where uh, had there not been another apwad sutra as am will be replaced by a you will get athe dham will become dve e will become a vahi will become vahe and mahi will become mahe by just one sutra and another t sanya uh, you will get uh, these kind of adeshas for all pratyas in atmane pada okay so this is our example let's move on vartika vartika says what uh, so uh, lagukara brings in a vartika he says shakandvadishu pararupam vachyam what uh, should have been said is shakandvadishu in the there is a gana katyayana was another uh, uh, vyakarana and katyayana muni made a, an akruti gana a gana uh, starting with shakandu shakandu is one shabda and there are many shabdas where there are there is a uh, uh, instead of uh, see here what did what was the last one here pararupam right see aad upasarga engi pararupam was the sutra why does he bring in t here because engi pararupam now he wants to talk about something where he wants to bring in a vartika in this vartika shakandvadishu this vartika shakandvadishu pararupam vachyam this vartika has nothing to do with t this vartika is actually a vartika for this sandhi for a sandhi there is a vartika that there should be a pararupa sandhi even for what when in shakandvadi gana shakandvadi gana there are some words which are where you see that pararupa sandhi has happened and that should have been mentioned because no sutra covers it as per as per the vartika kara so vartika kara said what shakandvadi shu uh, pararupa vach uh, he said pararupa vach because Uh, looking at the vyakrana the way words are katyayana muni made a gana gana as in just like we have uh, uh, pradi gana etc there are a group of words which are uh, put in put together and it gets a name uh, which is 
as per whatever is the starting word in that gana. So the list starts with shakandu. So shakandu adi yesham, say shakandu adi, shakandu adayaha. And in shakandu adi gana, whichever words are there, there you have pararupa sandhi, which is not covered uh, through a sutra directly. Uh, so Vartika Kara says that that should have been mentioned here. Uh, that is Shakandwadi Gana because Kathyana Muni was a Vayakarana before and he says that uh, Shakandwadi in that Gana he sees Pararupa Sandhi. Now this Pararupa is for what? As per the earlier Sutra, Pararupa is for uh, the Purva Parayoho. Purva Parayoho, Pararupa. What is Purva? Here, Purva is Avarna, Purva. Para is what? Para is Aim. So now when Shakandwadi is talked about, in Shakandwadi, it's just it's a word, a set of words. In Shakandwadi, which is the Purva, which is the Para? So there is a Purva Paksha there. Which is the Purva, which is the Para here? You can't make out. Because Shakandwadi does not have only Avarnanta words, uh, Avarnanta which have got a Sandhi with Aing. There, there are some other. So what is the Purva, what is the Para? So he, and so basically what is the Adesha for? There, uh, Lagukara says Tachya Tehe. So Pararupam Kasya Bhavati, Tachya Tehe Pararupam Bhavati. For T, that's why he brings in T. Tehe is Shashti Ekvachan of T. He says Tachya Pararupam Vachyam. This is the Vartika. And Lagukara explains that Vartika, Pararupa for what? Pararupa not for Avarnanta. Pararupa is for the T. The entire T is the Purva and whatever follows that is Para. Both the T, Purva T and the Para uh, Adi, Adi Akshara, both are replaced by Pararupa. This is his uh, explanation for the Vartika by saying Tachya Tehe. Pararupam. Tachya tehe uh, kim bhavati? Tachya tehe pararupam vachyam. It should, should be mentioned. And the examples give are shakandu ityadi. Uh, we look at these examples. Okay, I am not going to more technicalities. So shakandu. Uh, shakandu. What is the shakandu? Shakandu is shakanam. Shakanam desha visheshanam andhu kupa. So Shakandu is, um, so here Shak, Sh Shakandu, Shakanam, Shakanam Anduhu, Anduhu is Kupaha, a well, Shakanam and Shaka is Desha Visheshana. So for some Visheshana there is a Kupaha, Shak and san, is a Samasa, Shakanam Anduhu, Shakandu, Shashti is Purusha, Shaka, Shaka plus Andhu, Shaka plus Andhu. Of course, there will be uh, uh, Shashti, Bhavachana Pratya here, and there will be a Prathama Ekvachana. Both will go by Supluk, and you will get Shaka plus Andhu. Now we say this A, uh, Shaka plus Andhu is what? Shak, A, uh, and Andhu. This a uh, and so this a uh, and a uh, put together what sandhi should you get? Later it will be said that it will be a savarna dirga sandhi. But here what does he say? Not there should be no uh, savarna dirga sandhi here. But <coughs> I'm sorry. Here you will get what? Achontyadi t. Achontyadi t for this. This is the t. It is last letter is the t. Antya ach. Adi Esham. So there is there, there is nothing else here. Only ending with a vowel is the last letter. Therefore, that itself will will be the T. This plus Akara instead of Savarna Dirga Sandhi, it will become there is a Purva Parayoho Eka Adesha that is Pararupa. So Tehe for T there is Shak and A. This this A replaces both the first A and the second A. So you will get Shak. A and then Dhu. This Dhu is there, so you will get Shakandhu. And then it 
Suprateya you add, you will get Shakandu. It's a Pratipadikam and then you decline it. This, this A is a single Adesha for both this A and this A. See here, Savarna Dirga does not place because, take place because there is a Pararupa Adesha and this is covered by the Vartika Shakandu Adeshu. What are the other words there? Karkandu, Manisha, uh, Martandaha, Martandaha, all these are words there. Karkandu also same. Karkana Manduhu, Karkandu. So Karkana is equal to Raja Visheshana. Raja Visheshana Manduhu, Kupa, Karkandu. Similarly, here also uh, this Karka and Andu. Instead of Savarna Dirga Sandhi, you get a Pararupa Sandhi. Manisha. Manisha is what? Manisha is Manas. That, that's why Manas example we looked at. Manas and Isha. Isha. What will you get? Man as Isha. Now, you look at the uh, Vartika. Vartika says what? Shakanda Adishu. Shakandva Adishu. Shakandu Adi. Esham te Shakandva Adi. Yana Sandhi. Shakandva Adishu Pararupam Vachyam. If you take, instead of this Tachate, if this explanation had not been there, then we would still think that Avarnanta. Avarnanta Shabda, that is the Pura Rupa, and Pura Rupa is what? Whatever follows. That Pura Rupa will be the Adesha for both Purva and Pura, but we would expect this A. Uh, we would expect this Akara as the Pura Rupa, Purva Rupa. So in Shakandu it will work, in Karkandu also it will work. What about Manisha? In Manisha you don't have Akara at all. Avarnanta Shabda it is not. Manas, Manas is a Sakaranta Shabda. In this case, Manas, uh, Manisha, which is a part of Shakandwadi Gana, and there are other, some others also. Uh, in some cases, it will not work. What will not work? Avarnanta will not work. Therefore, he says, the explanation for the Vartika is Tachya Tehe. Tehe, this T is the Puro Rupa there. So, Para Rupa is for, for Eka Puro Parayo, but Purva is not Avarna here. Pur Avarnanta Shabda, Purva is what? Purva is T. So for T there is an Adesha, T is Purva and Purva here is what? Us here. In this case it is Us, T. Not Sakara, not included, not Akara, not included. The entire T here which is Us. So Us and E us and E, both put together, will be replaced by what? It will be replaced by Man and us and E will be replaced by a single Adesha, which is Pararupa and that is E. Therefore, you will get, you will get Manisha. Okay? Yeah, so you get Dirha E, Manisha. <coughs> I'm sorry. Further, it says Akruti Ganaha Ayam. Just a second. <coughs> I'm sorry. So Akruti Ganaha Ayam. Akruti Ganaha is what? So, explanation given. Bhaimikara gives an uh, explanation. Bhaimi gives an explanation. Akruti is whatever is the form. See, Vyakrana is reverse engineering, so to say. The words are reverse engineered into some formulas. Formula is not pre-existent. Vyakrana is not existent. It is not a prescriptive language. It is a, it is a descriptive language. Vyakrana, sorry, not language. It is not a prescriptive grammar. It is a descriptive grammar. The words are existing the way they are in the language. It has come from Bhagavan. We say that Sanskrit language itself has come from Vedas. Vedas are the Shwasa of Ishwara. So Sanskrita Devanagari, we call Devanagari because it has come from Ishwara. So the words are what they are. You can't say that the Vyakrana rule says therefore the words should be like this. No. The Vyakrana is an, Vyakrana is an explanation. It is easier to understand a broad category of words through simpler rules, through some set of rules. 
we try to understand the lang words in the language the pada shastra but it is not a it is not a vidhi in terms of it is not a prescriptive language it is descriptive of how the language is vyakarana describes it and therefore some places where you do not have the rules which are applicable you don't see such rules working that time you don't say the rule says is that's why the word should be like that no those set of words which do not follow a particular rule the way we know it it may have been lost it may be there during kartikeya's time it may not have been there it may have been lost possible what he did instead instead of creating a new rule he created a gana he separated out out those words and made a gana call it called it as a as a called it as uh, shakan uh, starting with shakandu therefore it is called shakandwadi gana and shakandwadi gana has set of words where this particular kind of a uh, rule is taking place what rule this shakandwadishu pararupam vachyam where t t and pararupa letter both letters uh, not both letters first set of letters which is t and second letter there is a sandhi between the t and the letter not the akshara and another akshara but t and akshara both are replaced by uh, a pararupa the pararupa uh, akshara so here what he says is that that is an akruti gana whatever is the akruti that you find in the shabda based on that akruti katyayana muni has made a gana now it may not be complete just because he has listed some that does not mean that the uh, the uh, list is complete he just showed that shakandwadi gana is one gana where he put in few words and he says that in case of karkandu shakandu manisha uh, martanda some of these places not martanda he may not have listed martanda that's why martanda has been added here there may be some words which which he has shown like these any words like these where t and pararupa have been replaced by pararupa that word should be brought in and put in inside this gana called shakandwadi gana shakandwadi is just a list where such a rule is seen that's why akruti of that word is important whichever place you see an akruti of the word which follows this kind of a rule this vartika rule that the um, okay looks like somebody is celebrating something maybe some election result or not what so we have some noise so please bear with me uh, can you still hear me clearly so we continue okay so uh, wherever you see a form like this where the t and pararupa have been replaced by both have been replaced by pararupa that kind of an akruti of the shabda will will make it possible for you to for anyone to for anyone to bring that word in this gana called shakandwadi gana therefore this gana is called what is an akruti gana akruti gana is a Uh, parivashika shabda where anywhere in a particular gana uh, it is not a closed ended gana it is not something where uh, like for example pradi gana pradi gana has so 20 22 elements pradi gana is not an akriti gana just because you see something you can't just bring in and uh, add in pradi and call it upasarga if there is kriya yoga pradi gana has a definite set of members it's a closed ended gana but some open ended ganas are there where this open ended ganas are called as akruti gana because based on the akruti of the shabda which follows a particular set of rules you can bring in and place that word it's an open ended gana it's a it's a sampling given and you can you have the right to extend it based on a particular rule which makes that gana here it is an akruti gana because it follows the words in uh, that set of uh, that group follows this this rule shakandwaishu pararupam vachyam that t and pararupa are both replaced by pararupa when you see such words which follow that rule you put them into that gana therefore it is an akruti gana so ayam akruti gana bhavati example is is giving that martanda is not included there so he says martanda can be one example where such a rule is followed okay enough said here let's move on next sutra is 
ओमांगोश्च इज दी नेक्स्ट संधि सूत्र वॉट डज इट से इट से ओम ओमांगो हो ओमांगो हो पद छेद है ओमांगो हो च च इज एन अव्यय ओमांगो हो इज वॉट सप्तमी द्विवचन ओम ओमांगो ओमांगो देर आर टू एलिमेंट्स हियर इट्स अ द्वंद्व समासा ओम च आंग च ओमांगो ओम च आंग च ओमांगो ओके दैट इज द्वंद्व इट इज द्वंद्व समासा एंड सप्तमी वॉट इट बिकम इट बिकम ओमांगो हो लाइक रामो हो रामो हो रामयो हो सॉरी इट विल बी ओम आंग सो मरुतो हो लाइक मरुतो हो हलंता ओम आंग ओम आंग शब्द बट ओम आंग यू कैंट मेक ओम आंग ओम आंग वुड बी वॉट इट वुड बी समाहार द्वंद्व बट हियर इट इज नॉट समाहार द्वंद्व इति इतरेतर द्वंद्व इतरेतर द्वंद्व सो राम इफ यू हेड टू रामाज रामश रामश राम एंड रामो विल डिक्लाइन इन सप्तमी एज रामयो हो सिमिलरली मरुत 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 सो मरुत इफ देर टू मरुत मरुत वुड बी इतर इतर द्वंद्व एंड एक शेषा देर ऑल्सो दैट मरुत इन सप्तमी बहु द्विवचन वुड बिकम मरुत हो सिमिलरली ओमांग विल बिकम ओमांगो हो सप्तमी बहुवचन इन सप्तमी बहु द्विवचन सॉरी What is the vritti saying? What does omango ho cha mean? And omango ho when om and ang follow. So the lagukara says omi angi cha at pare, omi angi cha at pare, para rupam ekadesha syat. So continuation of para rupam. There is an extension done when om follows. Om, om is a uh, is an avyaya. Om is an avyaya. Om is a uh, omkara. We say omkara. Om. Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namo Narayana. So Om, that Om, when Om follows or Ang follows, Ang is Nakara is it there? Content is only A. Ang Maryada or Abhivido. So when you have to say uh, uh, up to this or up to and extending this, uh, including this, then Ang is used. There is there is a, there are multiple. There may be multiple Angs. When Ang is is added. In Ang is a is an upasarga. Om is not an upasarga, but he has included this rule. So there is no rule that one should be an upasarga. One one uh, it need be an upasarga. It need not be an upasarga. When Om follows as a particle, Om as a as an avyaya follows or Ang follows, Ang is an upasarga. So in another word which is following, in that word Ang should be an upasarga. Then what happens then? At pare, when avarna is followed by om or ang, then what is the sandhi? O a plus uh, uh, here avarna is a or a, a a plus a or a plus om or a a plus a. What would you get? In the second case, you get savarna dirga sandhi. Generally, you should get that a and a would or a and a would give you a savarna dirga. Agar savarna dirga, but a and o what sandhi will you get? So a and o. You expect some sandhi, H O Y V A Y V A, or uh, not H O Y V A Y V A. What sandhi will you get? So O A, uh, not O A, O and O, O and O. You would get some sandhi, but here, what is it sandhi? Pararupa sandhi. He says, don't do sandhi between A and O. This this sutra says, do a, do not do a sandhi as in whatever sandhi you know, you replace with O. You replace. For a loop, a o, a and o, or a and o, both together will be replaced by o. So, for a loop, I'm a kadesha sya. Examples are given. So, Shivaya, Shivaya Om Namah. It is what Shivaya. Shivaya is Chaturthi Ek Vachana. Shivaya Om Namah. Om Namah to explain Shivaya Om is not a complete sentence. Shivaya Om Namah. What is this Om Namah Shivaya? 
If you reorder it, you will get Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya has been reordered as Shivaya Om Namah. So Shivaya Om Namah, when you write, that time this Shivaya, Shivaya Om Namah, Shivaya A, A is here. So A and Om, he says, the Sandhi is not between A and O anymore. Sandhi is between A and Om. Because Om follows. Why Sandhi? Because the Sutra says that. Sutra says Om take Om completely and when A and Om come together in this sequence, this Om will be the Adesha for, for both A and Om. So you'll get what? Shivaya, Shivaya Om Namaha. Om is the Adesha, single Adesha. So Varna Velanam, you'll get Shivaya Om Namaha. Then this Makara will become Anuswara. Monuswara, there is a Sutra. We'll see when we do Hal Sandhi. Shivaya Om Namaha. Now, uh, this Om and Namaha, it uh, depends on the Sampradaya where the uh, chanting is taught. But Om is also considered as a Bijakshara. Some places Bijaksharas are not to undergo Sandhi. So it should be uttered completely. So in many cases you will hear the word Shivayo Namaha. In some places Sandhi they do uh, even for Bijakshara. So you may this this uh, Anuswara will be pronounced as Nakara based on what follows. So it may be pronounced as Shivayo Namaha. So it can become what? This can be Shivayo Namaha. It, in pronunciation you will in pronunciation you will hear Makara. Or you will hear Shivayun Namaha. So Nakara will be pronounced for Anuswara. I'll take this away just to explain I have written based on the Sampradaya. Shiva Ehi. So He Shiva. Sandhi is here. The words are what? He Shiva. He Shiva Ehi. It says Ehi. Now here. Uh, Forget here, Shiva. Shiva is Shiv and A. A he is what? A and he. Now, Pararupam when Om or Ang follows. A is neither Om nor Ang. Why is this an example? Because Shiv, A, see, Shiva A he. A he is Lot Lakara. Lot Lakara of uh, Eid Hatu. So, Lot Lakara Madhya Purusha Ekvachana. He Shiva, O Shiva is directly talking you. Madhya Purusha Ekvachana, you, Ehi. You protect me. So Ehi or, uh, you know, you, uh, uh, it's a prayer. So it's a prayer directly to him. So here he says, this A is not Om. Here, E Dhatu is there, which is A Purvaka which is Aang Purvaka. Aang Purvaka e Dhatu is there and then there is a Lot Lakara Madhya Purusha Ekvachana He Pratya. So Ihi is there actually. You have Ihi, Aang Purvaka Ihi. This Aang, Nyakara is it. So you will get A and E. A and E, here there is a Sandhi between A and E as A. There is a Guna Sandhi. A and E will Eka guna adesha, eka puro pare, eka adesha, guna ha. Guna will be a, and thereby you get a hi. Now, this a, which is there, this a and a, sandhi is done, and he says, in this a, this a cannot be separated out as a and e, but it is separated. So, this a and E, although they are a single unit as A, still A, when it is an Ekadesha, it will be explained. In the next sutra, it will be explained. Uh, we will see that there. But in A, A is sitting inside there. Although there is a Gunadesha, a single Adesha, Puro Pareo, still A is seen there because A represents A as well as E. Since it is a Ekadesha, what is this A? A is a Guna Adesha. Not through this Sutra. Guna Sutra we have seen earlier. That Guna Adesha when you get Ad Guna Ha, 
आद गुण है इसी आदेशा when you are dealing with this part, this particular part when you are dealing with, you will get what? उस दिस दन उपसर्ग आ and E is the धातु between A उपसर्ग and E धातु आद गुण है अवर्णनतात गुण है आदेश बहुत ही अच्छी परे when इकारा विच दन अच्छी लेटर follows that time A and E पूर्व परे यो एक आदेश है बहुत ही किम रूपम गुण है गुण है आदेश है बहुत ही what is the आदेश है गुण है so गुण है विधि है ते now this एक आदेश है when it is done the next one says sutra I'll just say अंतादि वच्च that आदेश है विधि जन एक आदेश है यह अयम एकादेश है, so we'll look at this and come back. We'll otherwise it's difficult to explain that this sutra. This example it's difficult to explain without this sutra. That is the reason he brings in the next sutra. We'll look at it together. अंतादि वच्च, what is that? अंतादि वच्च, चकार ऐसा ना होगी या? अंतादिवत अंतादिवत इस जाऊँ सा हो गया वती वती प्रत्यय वती प्रत्यय इस लाइक दैट वती प्रत्यय इस एडेड टू से व्हाट तेना तुल्यम तेना तुल्यम और तस्य तुल्यम इट इस सिमिलर टू दैट सिमिलर टू दैट मींस व्हाट अंतादिवत इट इस लाइक अंतादि इट इस लाइक द अंतादि मींस व्हाट लाइक अंता it says what? Antadi is antascha, antascha, sorry, antascha, antascha, sorry, antascha, adischa, was what? Antadi, like hari, hari, harischa, harischa, hari, hari hi, hari, haraya, so hari hi, hari. अंतादि इस प्रथमा द्विवचन एंड इट इस व्हाट इट्स अ अंतादि इस एन इतरे इतरा इतरे इतरा द्वंद्व समासा इति इतरे इतरा द्वंद्व समासा दैट इस अंतादि एंड लाइक अंतादि like antadi means what? Like anta. It behaves like anta and like adi. What is this for? This is for yaha ayam ekadesha. Wherever you see ekadesha, puro parayo ekadesha, pararupam va, purvarupam va, guno va, whatever it is. When there is a single adesha, then that single adesha ayam ekadesha ya bhavati ya vidiyate, saha adesha, saha adesha, purvasya antavat. परस्य आदिवत भवती। It behaves like what? अंतादिवत। It behaves like the अंतर last letter of what? Of पूर्व पदा। Of पूर्व पदा it behaves like the अंतर and like it behaves आदि of the परा। So whenever when you look at say let's say शिवाय ओम हिप्सिल। So in शिवाय ओम नमः for O and Om, Om is the Adesha. So Om is the Ekadesha. When Om is the Ekadesha, then this Om Ekadesha will be like Shiva. Now this Om, is it part of Shivaya? Shivaya Om. So when you put together, is this Shivaya Om and Namaha? Or, or is it Shivaya Shivaya? Om Namaha. How should you consider this? Whether this Om, when you make an Ekadesha, should it become part of the first first word, or should it become the so? If it becomes Om, becomes Ekadesha, becomes the part of first word, then it will become Shivai Om, and Namaha is another word. Or will it become Shivai as one word, and Om Namaha as another? Although there are three words. This. See Shivaya Om Namaha, there are three words. But when you say Om is an Adesha, single Adesha for Shivaya, Akara, this Akara here, and Om both, then for both of these, actually not Om Namaha, I'm sorry, for Om. Om Namaha, this whether Om should be separated out as a single 
here it is a single entity so not a good example let's take another example let's say not this example not a good example ignore this let's take another example uh, here itself let's look at another example antadi vachcha actually uh, i should look at kashi ka example but let that be uh, okay um, let's say uh, we want to explain shivehi therefore uh, that's not an example we need to take let's say rameshwara ramaha we take an example of rama rama and ishwara will become what R rama akara akara of rama this akara and ishwara here ishwara if you look at this a and e ekadesha is guna adesha ad guna so ram a a is the adesha and what shwara shwara now should this ram this ekara should it go with ram is it part of ram or is it part of shwara so is it is it equal to rame shwara so too many typos today i'm sorry shwara or or is it ram eshwara how will you write it because this a is not eshwara it does not make eshwara word and ram is also not it is not rame rame is it is it rame or is it eshwara what is a part of so there this antadi vachya says what antadi vachya says this a is both is both a is rame ekara belongs to rave also and ekara belongs to eshwara also therefore it says what yaha am ekadesha ka adesha in uh, prakrute a adesha this a adesha prakrute a adesha पूर्वस्य राम 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 इति समूहस्य अंतवद भवति सो इट इज लाइक अंत सो व्हाट इज दी दिस समूह एंडिंग इन इट इज एंडिंग इन ए सो इट इज रामे इट इज एंडिंग इन रामे एंड ए इज व्हाट अंतवद भवति पूर्वस्य एंड परस्य परस्य व्हाट ईश्वरस्य परस्य ईश्वरस्य पूर्वस्य रामे इति समूहस्य एंड परस्य ईश्वर इति समूहस्य आदिवत भवति सो ए इज लाइक द बिगिनिंग ऑफ ईश्वर ईश्वर शब्द एंड ए इज आल्सो एट द एंड ऑफ राम दैट इज हाउ अ पूर्वादेश वर्क्स एंड देयर बाय वी कैन गो बैक टू आवर अर्लियर एग्जांपल व्हाट इज दैट हियर शिव प्लस आ प्लस ई प्लस ही देयर इज नो ए इज व्हाट देयर इज ए बट ए इज antavat for a and it is purvavat for e therefore a when you say a is avat a antavat and uh, a is also what e adivat it is like beginning with e a is part of e also and a is part of a also so a will look like a to this part shiva here on on left hand side a will look like a and on right right hand side a will look like e it sounds a little complicated but it's simple that is why a although a is not a still a can be seen on this side on left hand side thereby this sutra which says a omangosya omangosya this uh, although it is not for a it is not applicable since it is not a still because a is a is a purva uh, sorry is a ekadesha it is an ekadesha by guna sandhi therefore ang can be seen and thereby omangosya sutra applies here and thereby what is this sutra saying between this akara uh, which is ang and a which is which follows a which is avarna there is a pararupa sandhi and pararupa sandhi will be what shiva a this is the pararupa and ehi so this is the pararupa which is actually part of a so you will get what shiva 
and then this a uh, ang sorry what is the para rupa here a uh, it will see a ang uh, between a and a uh. that is what this a and e will be a so you will get shivehi shivehi sorry shivehi oh sorry we have uh, overshot the time so thereby we get shivehi and the next sutra also what uh, here shivehi same example is used here shivehi yo ayam ekadesha sa purvasya antavat and parasya adivas uh, bhavati and thereby uh, omangosya sutra can apply even in shiva ehi by seeing a as being part of a and also as part of e in this guna sandhi which is an ekadesha okay we we'll look at akasha varna dirga and other sandhi uh, tomorrow जतावसाने नटराजराजो नाजडक्कावपंचवारम उद्धर्त काम सनकादि सिद्धानेत विमर्शे शिवसूत्रजालम एनी क्वेश्चन